What I am drawing now is the schematic diagram we will be using to synchronize our level synchronous generator to the grid. You can use this schematic diagram to create your wiring diagram before you make any connections in the lab. Whether we are trying to synchronize a small synchronous generator like our lab volt machine, which is about you know, a 250 watt generator, or we want to synchronize a large 400 megawatt unit, the principles for synchronizing are the same, or the conditions for synchronizing are the same. So the conditions that we have are the generator voltage must equal the grid voltage, the generator frequency must equal the grid frequency, and the phase sequence of the generator and the grid must be the same. Finally, the last condition is the generator voltage must be in phase with the grid voltage. So here's our schematic that we're going to connect in the lab. The instrumentation that we're using to determine these conditions are our voltmeters and our synchronizing module. This will allow us to observe and determine when these conditions are met for synchronizing. So, first thing we want to do is bring our prime mover up to speed, rated speed, which in our case is uh, 1800 RPM. Once the generator is running at rated speed, we can close the excitation switch. So if we close the excitation switch, we can now adjust the output voltage by controlling the, 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 uh, the real stat or by controlling the variable DC voltage. So we can control the excitation current, which will change the output voltage. So we want to increase the excitation until we get rated output voltage of the generator. So the grid voltage is 208 volts. We want to increase the generator voltage until we get 208 volts. So that will be condition number one. So the meter we're using to observe the generator voltage is going to be E1. So E1 is going to be the generator voltage and we want to make it equal to E3. That is the grid voltage. So this, this will determine, give us condition number one. Now, for condition number two, the generator frequency must equal the grid frequency. So in order to control the frequency of the, uh, the generator output, we need to control the speed or the torque on the prime mover. So we're actually going to use meters E1 and E3, but in the level software, we can set this up also as a frequency meter, and this one is a frequency meter. So I'm going to put uh, F1, which is actually derived from E1, and I'm going to put F3, which is actually derived from E3. So this will allow us to determine condition number two. So if you want, you could call this voltage of the... Uh, generator, voltage of the grid, frequency of the generator, frequency of the grid. So in practice, we want the frequency of the generator, the, the incoming generator, to be slightly higher than the frequency of the, the grid. So in this case, it might be 60.1 or 60.2 hertz. And the reason for this is, is, if, is if the frequency of the, the generator is lower than the grid, and we try to synchronize, it's actually going to come online as a load or a motor and we don't want this to happen so we want the frequency to be slightly higher than the frequency of the grid so this will determine condition two for condition number three the phase sequence of the generator and the grid must be the same we can determine this by looking at the the three lamps on the synchronizing module if the three lamps are flashing in unison so they're going from light to dark all at the same time these two, are, two systems are, uh, have the same phase sequence. So I'm just going to write here uh, synchronous module synchronous module and then I'll just put lamps. These should actually be uh, in unison. We'll put here unison. So this will be condition number three. Now, for condition number four, the generator voltage must be in phase with the grid voltage. So we can also determine this by looking at the, 
synchronous module. So synchronous module in the, the lamps again, except now we're looking at uh, when the lamps are dark. When the lamps are dark, these two voltages are in phase. So the voltage on this side coming from the generator, the voltage on this side from the grid. When these lamps are dark, there's zero volts across this switch, and we can close this switch and synchronize these two systems. So you should get a nice beat frequency, nice slow beat frequency. The voltages should be equal. Frequency should be slightly higher on the generator. And when the lamps are dark, then you can close the switch on the synchronizing module. And the generator should now be synchronized to the, the infinite bus. The condition that it's in when it comes online is the floating condition. So this generator is neither delivering or receiving any uh, real or reactive power.